Thank you, Connor. Hey, Matt. Hey, Teresa. Wow, this is just a little bit awkward. But let, let's be honest, we've all had awkward situations. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and new research says things are just getting more and more awkward. So let's take a closer look on the breakdown. What's the most awkward situation you've ever been in? When I congratulated a woman on being pregnant. And she wasn't? She was not. Probably being ignored when I like waved to people, you know? You know, you're like, hi, and then they're like, uh. You know what's weird? This was my most awkward situation. We can make it more awkward. All right. Awkward news from a new Wakefield research study sponsored by Crocs. Awkward! Apparently, millennials are the most uncomfortable people around. More than a third of them experience more than three uncomfortable social situations per week. The age where awkwardness is most common, sweet 16. I get into a lot of awkward situations in an elevator. So what better place to talk about it than right in here? Okay. Wow, that was uncomfortable. <laughs> that was uncomfortable. So Cesar, uh, could you give us your list of ways to yeah. dissolve an awkward situation? I would say the first one is keep it short and sweet. This is not the time to get into a long dialogue, just short and sweet. Use a distraction. This is the best time for you to check your email, to send out a tweet, to update your Facebook status. Use a distraction. So I could literally be just going. Exactly, I think people will get the hint, I'm busy and they'll leave you alone. And thirdly, there is no rule that says you have to be witty or entertaining in an elevator, so just enjoy the silence. You don't have to say anything at all. Could you whistle? Like, that would be really awkward. That is awkward on the breakdown.